Um, it's clothing optional. What kind of percentage actually wear clothing? Do <laughs> yeah. they feel pressure not to? <laughs> um, the pressure would be all in their heart, not not put on by anybody. We won't tolerate anybody, you know, putting pressure on anybody. But most people come for the experience. They, you know, they go, hey, I want to give this a try. I want to check it out. And so the majority of people, uh, they may start off with a bathing suit, and by the end of the day, they realize, you know, they are the oddball. So you know, <laughs> let's fit in with the rest because I'm drawing a lot of attention to myself wearing a suit. Um, you know, the, the fear of the girls is, will I measure up to all the other goddess forms that are there? And the fact is, everybody is different. And the guy's fear is that he's going to be aroused. And it just doesn't happen. Um, I cannot tell you, as a male, the, that there's a switch inside that I didn't know existed. You know, I thought any sign of form, you know, make a body for a woman, I would be like, hello. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, all of a sudden, when you're naked, it's a shared experience. And it's not an objectification, it's not a voyeurism, it's a normality. It's a normalization process. So it's, it's pretty interesting. So, I really liked what you said about how um, a lot of people, their first experience with nudity is sexual, so mm -hmm. that's why they grow up that way. Like, I thought that was really interesting. I think that's pretty true. Yeah. Like I was thinking about the first time I saw like someone naked that wasn't in my family. You know, or like when I wasn't really young, and it was you know like finding porn or something, and it was like a weird feeling, and it wasn't natural like what you said. And I think that if people were raised with that like natural context of nudity, you wouldn't have the same problems and issues, and like. Um, lack of control of lust when, like, when people get older, I think especially with men probably. Mm -hmm. And But I was wondering uh, when you said that people just don't get turned on, like um, there's kind of biological issues and like sometimes I feel like guys and girls, like you can get turned on not intending to be, you know, like without stimulus per se. Mm -hmm. You know, you can just be sitting around watching TV or driving your car and things happen. So it's like how do you prevent that kind of thing from like you can't. You can't. Uh, what we tell a guy is, like, if you feel something coming up, jump in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> or lay on, lay on your belly on a towel. I mean, you know. And the girls, it's not so terribly obvious, you know, if there's an arousal, if there's arousal happening. But I cannot state it enough. It just really doesn't happen. And once that happens, the normalcy, the sexual overtones, fall away uh, in a way that it's hard to describe until you've experienced it.